This is a quick demonstration on how to group a uh, group of elements in Revit from one file and then transfer them from one file over to the next file uh, and manipulate as you see fit. Uh, as you can see here I have two files open. I have one which is called a year 11 retreat which is just a uh, topo surface. Uh, it is just the, the block of land as it, as it sits currently. I then have the other one over this side which is a very simple uh, one bedroom uh, unit. What I want to do is I want to move this over to this design and uh, manipulate it accordingly. The easiest way to do that is to group all of the items that are in this file and copy and paste them over to that file there. To do that what we need to do is we highlight everything that's on that page so that everything is there, uh, everything is grouped together. If you have things that are hidden, it's not going to select them. Uh, I've made sure that everything's unhidden in this, and this is just what I want here. Once you've done that, uh, up under the Modify tab up here, you can see once you've highlighted it, uh, it comes up and you have that option there now. I have this one here with a little star next to it because I want to create a group. A little dialog box will come up and I'll ask you what you want to call that group. I'm just going to call that house. I don't want to open it in the editor, I just want to manipulate it within the screen. Now when I have a look at this uh, object now, it is considered one group. So for all intents and purposes, it is just one thing. I can uh, rotate that, manipulate that, move it anywhere that I want to, um, and it all moves at once. I can no longer select an individual wall, so I know I can confidently copy and paste that and manipulate it over here. Once I have that selected, I'm going to select that one. Still under the Modify tab, I'm going to use the Copy command. I'm going to copy it onto my clipboard. I'm now going to come over to the Year 11 Retreat folder. And in this one here, I can now paste it into this section here. Uh, and manipulate it as I see fit. I have the Modify tab again. Under the Paste part here, uh, I have the option to paste aligned to selected views. This allows me to paste it onto the level that I want to work with. I'm going to paste it onto level 1, so go ahead and double click that. Some of the things that it brings across uh, aren't compatible from one file to the other. For this and purpose, that's not going to be a drama. I now have my file over here. I can maximize the screen so that I can see what is happening. Obviously there, I have a building that's halfway through a topo surface. Not super useful. What I intend to do is I want to manipulate that, turn that around and make it fit on that block a little bit better. What I can do now is, again, it is still one group. I can come up here to this rotate button up here. The uh, hotcut uh, key is RO for rotate. I can pick that and manipulate it where I want it to go. Still not quite right, so I'm just going to tilt it just a little bit. Uh, not quite where I want it, so just a uh, hotcut key. From there, I'm going to get that up to vertical, uh, and I'm pretty happy with that as far as its rotation on the block of land is. If I spin this around now, you can see there that um, it is halfway through the block of land. If you would remember back when I pasted that in, I pasted it to the level 1 uh, level here. What I want to do is, I'm just going to now adjust the height of level 1. If you have other levels in here, as you can see here, I have a level called Grid. What I would like to do is, I'm going to lock that grid. So select the grid, you go Dimension here, change it into a permanent dimension. Select Dimension and select this padlock. That will make sure that whatever I do to this level 1, that grid will stay the same distance apart. Now I want to drag this up here. I can do it one of two ways. I can click and drag that up to where I want it. If I know approximately what height I want it to be, 
So from previous experience, I want this to be up about there. I'm going to put this in at um, 2,500 meters. So um, millimeters. So that takes that up. Still not quite right. So I'm just going to manipulate that just a little bit more and type in 600. 2,000. 20,600 millimeters. I can zoom in there. I can see I am above where I want to go. So once I'm happy with where that is sitting there, I can go back to the 3D view, spin it around, manipulate, make sure it's all good. I'm happy enough with that for a simple demonstration purpose. Now, in order for me to be able to manipulate these walls again, and work on just that wall by itself um, what I need to do is I need to ungroup this so I will select the whole group up the top here under the modify tab again I have an ungroup button um, the hotcut key is UG for ungroup funnily enough once that's ungrouped now I have all of my walls I can manipulate my walls as I wish. I can delete, move and add windows in um, and change the window sizes, everything that needs to happen. Uh, I hope that's useful and any questions, please come and see me. Thank you very much.